the mummy. This film is directed by Alex Kurtzman, starring Tom Cruise, Sofia Boutella, and Russell Crowe. Um, this is a story of Nick Morton, played by Tom Cruise, and his friend who stumble along a tomb of sorts. And after interacting with it, they unleash the mummy. And... Things go crazy from there. Um, going into this movie, I saw all the negative reviews. It had like a 17% uh, right now, I think. And so going into it, I was like, there's no way this can be that bad. Tom Cruise movie, good director, start of a whole cinematic universe, hopefully. And after seeing it, it is not a 17%, but it is definitely not a great movie, or barely even a good movie. Um, so starting off with my pros of this movie, I'd say the acting is pretty good around. Uh, Tom Cruise is really good as Nick Morton, really charismatic, and has some really good com uh, comedy moments. Um... Sophia Boutella as the mummy is good with the limited amount of screen time she has. She doesn't really say much, but with what she says, she is pretty good and menacing. And Russell Crowe, uh, probably the best um, acting in this movie comes from him. And he plays a character that will probably show up in further movies if this one is successful. I thought it was kind of interesting how they kind of tie this character into this story. Um, and it didn't seem too jarring that they were trying to set up a further universe and try to get more sequels out of this. Um, but that brings me to my cons, which starting off is uh, one of the characters who is uh, Nick Morton's friend in this movie. Uh, I heard some complaints that he was an annoying character. Um, I, I can see uh, how people would think that, but I think it the acting of his character is good, but the lines he has to say and the comedic beats he has to hit don't really land all the time, so it just comes off uh, flat, and I think that's why people kind of thought he was annoying. Um, the writing in this movie is my main flaw. The tone of this movie is all over the place. There'll be like serious beats in this movie, then right after, a character will deliver a joke which kind of kills the momentum and tone that they're going for, which doesn't really make sense to me. And yeah, I'd give this a six out of 10. Um, if you really like Egyptian mythology, and for sure if you like Tom Cruise, um, you may want to go see this if you can get over some of the problems with the plot, but make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. I will have a Cars 3 review out for you next week, and a Transformers The Last Night review up the following week, so make sure to stay tuned to my channel for those reviews. Hope you enjoyed this uh, review. Please like and subscribe if you liked this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.